welcome back to Burning River Bushcraft. Today we're going to winterize our hammock with a winter wind sock protector from One Wind Outdoors. If this is the kind of thing you like to see, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment in the comment box, and ring the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Burning River Bushcraft. I also teach outdoor classes at OutdoorCore.com. If you stick around to the end of the video, I will give you a discount code for your next order at One Wind Outdoors. So cold weather is here. Uh, I've set my hammock up now for the winter, so I'm keeping my under quilt on here the entire time. I don't take it on and off, nor do I take my top quilt on or off. Bug screen is no longer needed, so we're going to be getting rid of our bug net and we're going to be replacing it with this wind sock. So using this wind sock with an under quilt and an over quilt and a good tarp with doors that you can actually close, you've pretty much sealed off the elements for winter camping. All right, so let's take a look at this product here. This is gonna go on in place of our bug net and good riddance. I love having the bug net. I don't like the bugs quite so much, so I am happy to get rid of them. So any of these hammocks, you can jump in them either way, but when you put the windsock on, this has a screen and this is gonna help with condensation. So. As soon as you do this, you're designating which end is going to be the head. So I like to do this with my hammock up, but I need one of my straps off to get this started. So I actually suspend my hammock with climbing grade carabiners. It adds a little bit of weight, but it adds another function that I'm going to show you in another video. So I'm going to take my strap loose from the tree so we can get the bug net started. So I could take my bug net off completely when I put my winter sock on, and that makes sense, but this is a bulky system anyway. I'm not that concerned with weight when it comes to winter camping. So here's the end of it coming out of the strap. So just for simplicity, I'm leaving the net on. I'm not that concerned with weight, especially when I've got my bulky winter stuff with me. Now I'm just gonna put my tree strap on, tighten up the hammock, and I'll show you how the wind sock works. So if you're familiar at all with the one wind bug net, this is gonna work the same process, how it's open on the bottom with gathered elastic. So once you get it on your ridge line, you're going to find that the head end, the end with the screens, is the end that you're going to pull on and pull off, depending on use. I don't use my bug net all the time. I'm definitely not going to use my wind sock all the time. This is something I'm going to have available to batten the hatches when it gets bad. So the end without the screens, the foot end, is a smaller opening. So this is maybe three inches. And you're going to want to tighten that down. And underneath here, this is where I've got my gathered bug net. So this is... Uh, going to stay here. This is on the bottom end anyway. And then the larger end is big enough to go over your under quilt, over your over quilt. Uh, it's pretty easy to take this on and off depending on the weather. So with this larger end of the head end, this is going to be the side that you slide back and forth. And you see I can just work the, the quilt system in the hammock and whatever else I happen to have in here all the way around it. And then around my, my gathered end here, it's just got a cord lock and some cordage. And we're going to lock it in and we're ready for the evening. So now under the bottom, I've got shock cord and this works exactly like the, the bug net. So right now it's oversized. So I can draw this down. And then getting in and out of this hammock, I'm just going to get in from the bottom. So I don't know if you can see here, this comes down past the hammock, and I've got my under quilt here too. Uh, I usually do belt and suspenders. I've got the under quilt protector. I did another video on that. And by using that, now I've just protected my under quilt from getting dirty. And if there is the slightest chance of wind getting through this whole system, plus my tarp, I've got an extra layer of protection with the underquilt protector. So here's the view from inside the winter windsock. And you can see my vent holes up here. So there's no real claustrophobic aspect with it. I can see out just fine. It's going to help uh, relieve the condensation. Getting in and out of it from the gathered in is exactly like getting in and out with your bug net. And today is very, very windy. Uh, I have my wind filter on, but I'm sure you're going to be able to hear it through some of the video. And it's moving this wind sock, but there is zero, zero wind getting in here. If you're into winter camping or if you like the concept of winter camping, but you get cold easy, 
something like this might be the way to go for you. You are completely windproof in this. Some of the coldest nights I've ever spent has been when I misjudge the wind or the wind shifts and I get wind across my hammock that's not being stopped by the tarp. So this eliminates that. When you put this with the under quilt, with the over quilt, with the under quilt protector, with a tarp, with doors, this is a great system. So check it out. So here you can see the mesh holes and that's just gonna help with condensation and water build up inside this system. So this is a heck of a winter system. If you're gonna go under quilt, if you're gonna go over quilt, this is the next step. Make yourself completely windproof and enjoy winter camping even more. Till next time, this has been Jamie Boggs with Burning River Bushcraft. See you soon. So you made it this far in the video, congratulations. I'm gonna put my discount code right here. Go ahead and use that on your next order at One Wind Outdoors. In the description box, I'm gonna put my affiliate link as well as a copy of this discount code.